Yeah? Right? And show them one of the books that inspired Earth Day. That book inspired Earth Day. You want to hold that? You hold that book, and we'll talk about Earth Day. Okay. How about I get you a pen? Earth Day. Did you know it's the largest secular holiday in the world right now? Yeah, apparently Valentine's Day and Halloween and St. Patrick's Day aren't nearly as large. But do you know the history of those events better than you know the history of Earth Day? I know I did. So I did a little research. I'm gonna take you back to 1969. And it was a time when people started to get really upset because everything was getting polluted, like the air, the water. And you remember DDT? They were using it then, and those eagle eggs were getting screwed up. And the Silent Spring was written. And then in 1969, we had the worst oil spill on American soil in the history of oil spills at the time. So everybody was like, man, we gotta do something. Big business is messing up the environment, and we the people don't really want anything to do with it. And then there popped out this one guy, Senator Nelson. And he said, you know what? We gotta do something. I've been trying for a long time to get the politicians in Washington to listen, but they need to hear from the people. They need to know that the people want environmental protection. And so he said, let's take a lesson from the Vietnam War activists. And they're doing all these teach-ins where they sit down and talk about the issues that are happening about the war. But let's do it about the environment. And let's do it on April 22nd, 1970. And that day started to be called Earth Day. And it was a huge success. See, he started to organize the event and he didn't have to do that much because at a grassroots level, people started to organize it all over the country. And it was a huge success because 20 million Americans celebrated Earth Day that year and the politicians listened. You see, no matter if you were a Democrat or Republican, everybody agreed the environment is important. Because look, if you go out into your backyard, you don't want a big dump back there. And so later that year, they created the Environmental Protection Agency. And it also laid the groundwork for lots of other things like the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act and the Endangered Species Protection Act, which are all good things. And so Earth Day's changed just a little bit, but it's still a day to learn about environmental issues. It's my day, it's your day. It's our day to say, hey, we care about the environment so much that we wanna learn more about the issues that are happening right now so that we can make wise choices. And that's what Earth Day is all about. And so we have an Earth Day challenge for you. Can you go outside by yourself for 15 minutes and just observe? All right, it's simple, but it's a good one. That's it, happy Earth Day. So enjoy Earth Day, and maybe make every day your Earth Day.